Alrighty, I want to do a quick video on my Miller 330A slash BP. Um, got this at an auction for $60. Thing is 850 pounds. You can see it's a little crusty. Just hit it with some crud cutter and it's still a little dirty, but I'm enjoying it so far. When I first got it all wired up and plugged in, I turned it on, got nothing, the fan wasn't even running. Um, had to check the wiring diagram, place the F2 fuse, and then it started kicking. Um, we got here, remote amperage control, contactor control. You can see the polarities, you got AC, straight polarity, reverse polarity. You know, selector amperage, start adjustment, High frequency, start continuous, Got your power. Open it up. Right there's your water solenoid, the gas solenoid. You can see it's still a little crusty in there. I'm working on it. Just replace this post flow timer. Kind of go over that in the next video. This is where you select. Whether you're going to do TIG welding or stick welding, right now it's in the stick position, arc welding. If you do not have those connected right there, and then it's set for TIG. See this old sticker there? That old crusty dirty diagram. See? Adjust your spark gaps. Shaboom. Let's run it for you. scale there. Kind of cool. It's got that old tag on it. There's a little uh, serial number for you. Boom. Yeah, right now I have it set up for stick welding. Got my leads. Shaboom. Got my ground clamp. There we go. In the process of getting it set up for TIG welding, just went through the foot pedal, cleaned the resistor on the inside, hit it with a little contact cleaner, electrical contact cleaner. Um, got my TIG torch coming in soon, then I'm going to get a bottle of Argon, go from there. Yep. Big boy. Hopefully the next video will be set up for TIG welding. Thanks.